Okay, we are going to continue learning in JavaScript. Uh, what I'd like you to do now is using the knowledge that you've acquired through watching these videos, create a Zodiac website so that when the users uh, enter their Zodiac sign, it will display the information. Uh, you can look at a reference, go to my website, monkeybra.com, go to where the portfolio section is, click on the Zodiac sign portfolio, and click on demo. This is my Zodiac website. You click in your uh, sign, and then it tells you basically all about whatever your sign is. Here's the working version on my computer. And no matter what your sign is, you type it in there, and you click the button, and it tells you stuff about being a Scorpio. Uh, whatever your sign is, Leo, Scorpio, whatever it is, that's how it works. And basically, you have the knowledge, if you've watched all of these videos from start to finish, and you've done the assignments, you have the knowledge to be able to create this this assignment. So you can you don't have to do it exactly like the way I did. I did mine kind of fancy because I was being competitive with my classmates at the time. I thought theirs looked better than mine, so I went all out on mine. But you don't have to do that. Uh, basically, you just need to uh, make something to where when people put in their sign, it displays some information. And you can put pictures on it if you want. You can put video on it. You can put different colors. You can style it however you want using CSS, HTML, JavaScript, and so forth. Uh, so go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and do it. Uh, this is how I did mine. I loaded a bunch of images, put them in a folder, and I just did it. Uh, if you want to stick around for this video, I'll show you how I did mine. You can use Lunapic, you can use Canva.com, you can use whatever tools are out there. Uh, if, you, if you're good at Photoshop, you can use Photoshop. And just use whatever is at your disposal to you know, grab some pictures or, or, or whatever you want. And uh, create this video. Go ahead and pause the video and do it. Uh, this this might take a week. This might take a month. I don't know. It just depends on how involved you get. You know, you can go back over the videos that uh, you know, you've watched before. And basically, you're going to use a for loop. You're going to use a function. You're going to use uh, array and array. Uh, this is how I did mine. A very little HTML, if you can look on the left side there. I've got a uh, h1 tag. I've got a form there with an ID of Godzilla. I've got an input tag with an ID of King Kong. And I've got a uh, button there with an on click function with a get info. Uh, name of the function is called get info. Uh, I created a form with placeholder, just because I like the placeholder. You don't have to do placeholder if you don't want. And uh, I used a lot of IDs. I used uh, King Kong's ID. And I'm just typing out what I, some of what I say. I use a button with an on-click event that uh, fires the function on the JavaScript side every time you click it. Use a lot of IDs. So you use an input ID King Kong, ID personality, ID, uh, I forget what, what that was there. I use the add here ID for on the body. You can put an ID anywhere. You put it on the whole body, on the body tag. Over here, I created an, uh, as, as an array. The reason the array is so, so long is because I created a duplicate one for uppercase, one for lowercase. So there's really only 12 signs, I believe. 
but I created an array of 24 in case you know you put in a capital Aquarius or a lowercase Aquarius. I created an array uh, with uh, all the information that I want displayed. So you know the sign Aquarius, the uh, personality, the temperament. I even put an image on there. I I created an image folder and I linked it to this array. And the image will display on the page when the button is clicked as well. And then I styled it. If you go all the way down, all the way down, I'm going to try to use the word wrap here so it doesn't look so messy. It's been a while since I've used the word wrap. So I'm still looking for it. It's under view. View word wrap. There it is. Okay. And then I'll scroll all the way down through the array of 24 uh, objects there. And uh, this is where I did the styling. There's my function. This is the function that fires when the button is clicked. It's called get info. I created the variable called the variable Bigfoot. If you notice the names I use, it's just I do them on purpose. So get info corresponds to that function. Get info on the other side there. And um, uh, I use a variable named Bigfoot and I made it equal to what's typed in the input field on the right, the which is King Kong. So I call the variable Bigfoot and I'm pulling from the King Kong ID on the left side, which is in the input field. This is the loop that loops through the array, i equals zero. And this is the variable Bigfoot is equals equals to zodiac i dot sign. So it's going to loop through the array and compare Bigfoot to all the items in the array. And it's going to pull the the uh, the stuff from the input on the left. It's going to get the element by ID. The element is King Kong and personality and temperament, as you can see there. And temperament pertain uh, corresponds to the ID temperament on the left side there on the HTML side. And uh, basically, you pull the information from there, and you make it equal to the array and it loops to the array and it sh displays what's in the array. So if you type in Virgo, it displays what the Virgo information. If you type in Scorpio, it displays the Scorpio information. And yeah, that's how I did it. So uh, take your time on this. I mean, this is uh, going to take a while. This took me a while. I, I couldn't do it all myself. I had to get help. And uh, also, I uh, notated some stuff out here. Uh, something I haven't covered in, in these videos is the set attribute. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but you have to, when you do a, uh, a picture, you have to set the attribute if you're doing it in uh, JavaScript. So it's get element by ID, the ID is IMG. And then you dot set attribute. Uh, the, this styles the personality paragraph to make it bolder. The one below that sets the background image on the page. That one removes the form when the button is fired, so it doesn't looks better on handheld devices. The next one creates an A tag when the button is fired. Uh, that one uh, actually. Uh, the, uh, redirects it to the home link. Uh, that one adds the text to the A tag. For example, if you type in Leo and you click click me, down there where it says home, that's the text right there that it added. And it says home right there. Uh, the next one appends the link to the content. 
and the one below that uh, redirects it to go back to the add here um, ID which is the home page which is the on the body tag right there add here so uh, that's just to give you an ID I don't want you to do exactly like mine I want you to be original but that's an idea of how I did mine so uh, be creative have fun with it how are you gonna do yours take the challenge enjoy